You don't need to upgrade your SUV for your couple's RV complete with a dance floor. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. Oh, oh my hip. So yeah, I'm a little out of shape. I'm standing inside your next couples coach, the East to West Silver Lake 16 RBLE. This beauty is 3,584 pounds, 21 feet, three inches. Great couples coach that's slideless and with East to West, if you know the brand, you know the features and amenities that they have in them. Well, the LE line just gives you a little bit smaller, lighter weight RV packed with the same features. Now, with this being a couples coach, we're gonna start right up front here in the front cap with the primary bedroom. And I say couples coach because even though it'll sleep three, maybe four, there's no separation of space right here. So your privacy, if it's paramount to you, this is a couples coach. Up front, we got the east to west style Murphy bed. But the problem with most Murphys is the, the sofa portion wasn't very practical. It was a jackknife, you know, it was just like in a weird spot. Um, and the bed wasn't stationary. They've upgraded that. You still get storage underneath, but look at what they did. As opposed to the jackknife, now if you needed a bunk or a storage spot for the dog, great for that. And this cushion lays flat. You got these two awesome little spring-assisted latches there folds down and then you got your brand new mattress. This is the Teddy Bear Series mattress uh, that folds over and you got the queen size bed going east to west here in the front cap with the storage lip. You still got 110 as well as 110 and dual USB on this side and oversized ward space. Very nice in a coach this size. But the thing I really liked about it, look at the flow that you have in front of the bed. A lot of the Murphy beds cut off that space. So coming and going is a lot easier inside of here. And you still have access to the dual USB and 110 outlet that's here at the edge of your kitchen. You got the window here with the pleated shade, 81 inch high ceilings, which really help. You'll see that when we get into the bathroom. And how about your setup for the wine guard boosted signal. If you're gonna go off the grid, this is a great service to get because it boosts your 4G, your LTE, your Wi-Fi, as well as your GFCI outlet. Put your TV there. And for this, I would just advise get a mattress topper or get your own mattress. That's with any RV because I want you to be comfortable and have a good trip. Nothing wrong with the Teddy Bear Series mattress, three inch thick, but if you want that better experience, pick your own. As soon as you walk into the door, you're gonna see the main command panel. Now, this is where you come to check your battery, check your fresh, your black, and your gray tanks, as well as run out your awning and cut on your water pump and your lights. Um, now, for this one, you got 30 gallons all the way across the board. 30 gallon fresh, gray, and black. You'll also see that you do have the roof-mounted solar prep with the controller uh, already pre-wired. Go ahead and get that if you're gonna be spending some time outdoors because uh, it also triple, trickle charge that battery, but just could really extend that camping season. Uh, like this flow right there is our boosted. Got a vent right here. Then this is something I'm not used to seeing inside of couples coaches. A lot of times with the dinette, the booth that you get is a single person dinette. What I mean by that is you can only get one person on each side. This, just like East to West dinettes, is oversized. But notice the space that we still have to walk through. Remember, slideless RV. Oversized panoramic window. Yes, I got storage underneath. This is the plush overstuffed cushions. And I got storage up top. Got the shaker style cabinets with the matte black pulls. Tip of the hat to Lisa and her crew for once again, improving on the aesthetic of the interior design. I got my roof mounted AC here, the GE with the quick cool dumps oversized. Plus your furnace is actually in the cabinetry. It's not ducted in the floor work. What's nice about that is you don't get the soft spots in your RV, so that's very nice to have. Then on the off-camp side, that's where you got your kitchen. I even like how they did the flow of the graphics here. Just looks good, just looks bright, like a nice kitchen. Your sink, undermounted, Roman style, stainless steel, plus you got the high-rise faucet. Got the oversized window here and the flush mounted two burner cooktop with the glass cover that doubles as a backsplash. And your drawers, solid wood construction, full extension on the drawer guides, even got some storage down here, as well as your GFCI outlet. Greystone microwave is right there, more storage here. And how about for your fridge? Now for a couple's coach, <laughs> 
This thing's almost as big as a dinette. 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt vibration smart, as well as frost resistant. I like the adjustable shelves and you got the travel lock to make sure everything stays in place. Now the RB, being a couples coach, stands for rear bath. So let's check it out. Come back here and I know what you were saying about looking at the wardrobe that we have in the primary. Here in the bathroom, you got more space. So you got four cabinet doors here, storage up top, storage down below. Uh, you could get a ward bar put in or get a uh, like one of those suspension bars. Those always come in handy. Here's my plastic bowl to foot flush. 6'2", 225, I'm not really cramped. Uh, and remember, it's slideless. It's only 21 feet, three inches. Oversized vanity, got a little more storage under there. Got the decorative sink as well as the faucet. There's my GFCI, there's my mirrored medicine cabinet. Uh, got a good space there. And the uh, tankless water heater is a brand called Fagotti. Uh, to be honest, that's the first I've heard of it, but when I read up on them, they seem pretty, pretty strong, pretty solid. Now your shower surround, Remember what I mentioned about the 81 inch high ceilings? This is where that comes into play. Usually, if I don't have the skylight here, I'm a little bit more cramped and crunched down for the shower. Is it a bad experience? No, I mean, it's, it's not. You're camping, you still have a shower. Corner notches for my soap and shampoos. I got the matte black features for my controls. My vent and fan are right here. Uh, so it doesn't really help me with the head height, but the 81 inch high ceilings do. And I got my shower curtain right here, so all in all, and by the way, you had two grown men in that bathroom just now. So you can see that we have some pretty good space. 21 feet, three inches, 3,584 pounds. Couples coach complete with a dance floor. What do you say we moonwalk outside and see what's going on out there? <laughs> On the outside of your East to West Silver Lake 16 RBLE, up front, you're gonna see your tongue jack, 20 pound LP tank. Talk to your specialist at Camping World, tell them to upgrade you to the two 20 pounders. Battery box as well as battery disconnect. Now, the frame is solid built. Uh, you got a good support for this coach, even though it's only 3,500 pounds, that's gonna help with the towing as well because of how well the frame is built. Diamond plated rock guard, seamless one piece roof going all the way over the top. And look what they did for your pass through storage. Yep, I got the magnetic anti-slam doors, but it's finished off. They added just a little touch plus this motion sensing light in there. Uh, pass through storage right there. Finishing it off, making it look good, to me is just them saying, we're not gonna give you an ugly coach. We're gonna add a little extra time and make it right for you. Steel fold up steps leading into the entry point here. Extra large grab handle, doubles as a door guard as well. And you got your oversized awning with the LED light strip cable and 110. If you wanna get some outside entertainment, you got it. Steel rim on the oversized tires there and front and rear stabilizer jacks. Right here is going to be the back of that tankless water heater. And here on the rear, some nice little features too. Backup camera prep and ladder prep. Very nice because you do have that walk on roof. You can get up there, make sure everything's okay. Check the seals at least every six months. City water connection, black tank flush, don't get those switched, and shower with hot and cold. On the other side is where you're gonna see your main terminations, uh, your dumps, if you will. And remember, you got 30 gallons all the way across the board there. Fresh, gray, and black. 21 feet, three inches. 3,600 pounds, 3,584 for splitting hairs. For a couple's coach with a better designed Murphy bed setup up front, I like it, and the oversized dinette. That in and of itself to me makes this a little bit more comfortable of an RV uh, than a lot of like models. But if you're saying, hey Chris, we like that, you got something a little bit bigger? Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, I'll put a video up you can check out. Or if you're saying, Chris, we like this style, but you got something in bunks, I got you covered there too. Uh, but leave me some comments down below. Let me know, what'd you like about the 16 RBLE? What'd you not like? Where would you take it? Because I love hearing from you. And please click like, subscribe, and notify. Until next time, I'm Chris Young. Happy camping. I'll see you soon.